It's 2018, new year, new games for you. Yes, uh, so I have a list of seven games to look forward to in 2018. And I wanna point out this list is speculative because there's a few things that might happen. One, the game might not come out, which is okay because a, a delayed game that can be good, but a rush game will always be bad. In, in the, to paraphrase a famous <laughs> Nintendo personality's quote. Um, and there's also the idea that some great games could be announced and released this year that I don't even know about yet. It's exciting. My first one comes out first. It's January 26th and it's Dragon Ball Fighters. I am not really a big fan of Dragon Ball. I'm a casual fan, I would say. But when I previewed this game, it was so much fun. It was seamless. It looked like it came straight out of the cartoon, more recent version of the cartoon, by the way. And I loved how it flowed. I loved how you could stack different combos and then you could have different characters on different sides with each other uh, working together. I liked it a lot. I think it's a great fighting game and I love a good fighting game whether I love the, the characters it's based on or not. So check that out really soon. The next one is almost a dare because it's Kingdom Hearts 3. And when Kingdom Hearts 2 was out, I was age appropriate to be playing a Disney Square Enix game. Well, heavily Disney game. And now I feel like I'm too old, but I'm still gonna play it when it comes out. I, I was debating between this and Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I was like, which one of these unlikely to come out games ever is probably gonna come out this year? And I leaned towards Kingdom Hearts 3. I really wanna play the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I don't believe it will be out. There's also a leak for Kingdom Hearts 3 on potential Disney worlds that will appear in it. This is a potential leak. It might not be true. It might be true. It came from Kingdom Hearts 3's subreddit and someone was able to dig into the code and find some potential uh, a world list. And that includes Twilight Town, Mysterious Tower, Olympus, that's from Hercules, Kingdom of Corona, that's Tangled, Galaxy Toys, Toy Story, San Francisco, Big Hero 6, Monstropolis, Monsters Inc., Arendelle, Frozen, Hundred Acre Woods, Winnie the Pooh, Radiant Garden, that's from the original thing, Disney Castle, Land of Departure, Daybreak Plaza, or Daybreak Palace. I like that idea of lists of worlds we can go to. I, again, that's speculative. That might not be true, but it did make me excited, which should count for something. I am also looking forward to The Last of Us Part Two. This one does not have a release date. It is said to be 50 to 60% done, which to me is a toss up as to whether it could come out this year. I would guess if anything, Q4. Uh, but this is set years after the original The Last of Us. And now we are focused on Ellie instead of Joel. We have the original cast coming back. It appears they are somewhere in Seattle and it appears that it will be following these two character stories specifically, not some kind of fake out where it starts with them and they get killed and then we follow someone else, which is really what I would want to do. The graphics so far from what little I've seen look amazing. And I think it's going to be a very visually stunning and have a great story like the original did as well, which is extremely important, especially in a cinematic type game. I have a lot of faith in Naughty Dog and I think this one will be great. After that I have, okay, not everything can be gritty. Not everything can be high powered graphics. So I picked Mineko's Night Market. It's like Animal Crossing, except it's got cute, adorable kitty cats in it. And <laughs> it's, it's an indie game. It will be published by Humble Bundle. It looks so cute. You know, I don't always need to be in a post-apocalyptic world. Maybe I just wanna be a humble stall runner at a market and look for elements in nature and adorable cats to help me achieve my dreams that are really cute and normal. I like it. I like it. After that, I have Spider-Man from Insomniac. This, as you may remember from previous videos, looks a lot like the Batman Arkham games. And that is a good thing because I think we could all use a little bit more of the Batman Arkham experience, except now we are working with Insomniac is in charge of this game. And it does seem to be running off of the Sunset Overdrive engine, a modified version of that, which was a very fun aspect of that game. So I am excited to see that happen. It looks like he's going to fight Wilson Fisk early on and a few other characters. Mary Jane is apparently playable for, I would guess, a very minimal amount of time considering 
she's not the Spider-Man. Next I have Untitled Yoshi Game from Nintendo. You may have seen this footage before. It is so cute. It looks a lot like Little Big Planet, which is an interesting move to see from Nintendo itself. We haven't seen a Yoshi game since 2015, so it's exciting to see a comeback there. This focuses a lot at looking at things from different angles, which I am excited for, and it looks really interesting. It's very papery, which is not in untrodden territory for Nintendo. And lastly, I have Soul Calibur 6. So in this one, it looks like we're returning to basics because after the last Soul Calibur, we had, I don't know, the original character's kids and some new characters that were tangentially related to Soul Edge or whatever. And I just got kind of sick of it. I mean, the custom character matches were funny because you can make them look like other pop culture characters. We don't know much about this so far, except the footage we have of Taki and Mitsurugi fighting each other. I, I would guess we are gonna go back to that time. Not Taki, Sophidia. I, I want Taki to come back, but I like the original characters best where we have their struggles with each other and it's more, it's not convoluted like it's gotten. And you're probably gonna see Ivy come back. We might also see the return of the trio of Shanghua, Killick, and Maxi, which I liked a lot. Maybe their story could be told better. Maybe Maxi won't look like Maxi, and it'll be uh, an improved version of the original, which is really all you can hope for in a game which essentially looks like uh, a better redo of the original. You need to have a reason to redo it. And I hope that's what they do with that one. I've only listed seven games, and there's probably hundreds, hundreds out there that are worthy of being on a most anticipated list. What are you most excited to play in 2018? Please let me know below, and please like and subscribe for more.